As far as time is concerned, we want to know when the movement occurs. And if I asked you, when does your movement occur? You would simply have to answer, now. Feel the now of every movement you make. Sense it. Feel it. Saying now makes you exhale, and you are to exhale on every movement. Every movement impulse that you feel, whether it's a big one or whether it's a little one, whether it's a major one or a minor one, you must say now on that. Now, if you'll come along with me in this, <clears throat> You won't anymore be doing now, now. You will be doing now, now. Because from the standpoint of time pattern, which is inherent in every movement you make, it is essential. Unless for some reason you have to prepare for a movement. The, the total integrated feeling for the beat is bound up, bound up in exhaling. Let's stand up. All together, begin to move. And at what we would consider sort of a moderately comfortable pace, saying now on every, on every movement, just very simple, just one movement after another, and see if you could all do it together so that you all are saying now at the same time. Let's see if you can do that. Same thing, regular pulse, a little faster. Little faster. as if you thought that was terribly fast. That's nothing. Let's have it faster. the way you, your breath gave out at a certain point. <laughs> now, by yourself, not as a group. Complete contrast. As irregular a pulse as you can possibly make it. I mean, just no two movements lasting the same length of time. Sometimes coming one right after the other fast, sometimes long intervals between them. The, the purpose of it being the irregular time pattern, the feeling of it, time pulse, irregular pulse.
difference between a measured and an unmeasured pulse is very important now. All right. In my walk, this would be an unmeasured pulse as far as I can feel it. Walk, 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 an unmeasured regular pulse. If I go walk, 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 I've measured each, each step into two parts. So it really feels like a one, two, one, two, one, two. Or I could measure, it might be this way, one, uh, walk, 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 walk. I've measured it. Now, the first of every two beats, some little emphasis, some little change, which makes it not a bump, bum, bum, but a one, two, one, two, one, two. Here you go. One, two, 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 Short. Not one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. This is your pulse. This is your pulse. Every one. Every one. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Let's have a one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Without counting, keep on going. Feel it. Don't even think the count. Feel it. Feel the bum, 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 bum. Don't count. Let your muscles feel it. All right, that's good, group. That's good. Now let's have a nice, slow, regular pulse in movement. See if you can take this pulse that I'm walking. Feel it. Feel it. And I'll keep on walking. This is your pulse. Now suppose I said, each of the move, each of your movements now is going to be divided into two equal parts. So that instead of one movement, you're going to have two equal. Could you do that? One, two, 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 one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, back to the basic pulse. One, 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 one. Could you divide it into three equal parts? One, two, three, 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 one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Back to the basic pulse. One, one, one. Four equal parts. So one, two, three, four. 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 One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Back to the basic pulse. I hope I'm keeping it steady. All right, hold it, group. That's fine. This was just a little indication of how you can measure a beat either by grouping it into larger pulses or breaking it down into smaller ones. I want you to just experiment now in moving freely.
trying to be a little clear about what your beat pattern is. And then come to the point where you have a beat pattern which is repeated. For instance, suppose I go bum, da dee, da, dum, bum, da dee, da, dum. It's repeated. Bum, da dee, da, dum, or da 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 That's good. I'm going to stop you, though. I notice some of you are trying to get it through the visual. Try hard to get it through the ear. Try to get it through the ear. This is coordinating, to some extent, the ear, uh, the kinesthetic. I wouldn't really try to get it through the eye. All right. something good here and uh, we'll take advantage of it now he's dancing he's feeling not only what he's clapping but he's feeling all the unheard beats there are a lot of unheard beats in, in any uh, sound uh, pattern and you're not taking advantage of it why don't you try to move with him in other words watch him try to get the feeling of his movement and then he'll clap and he'll sort of keep on moving so he'll give you some feeling about what's behind it you're not paying uh, this is just coming to light now, so let's try that. is a nice study that we've never done before. If the one up here will really show in movement the unheard beats, 
And uh, then this is a great way to help feel. You see, with every single sound pattern, there's both sound and silence. And you have to hear the silence as well as the sound. Start out on your own, getting together with a common pulse as soon as you possibly can. All right, here we go.